All right, everybody, welcome back to round two of the Magic City Mega Bowl. Uh, this round is played at John LeMaster Disc Golf Course in, at Civitan Park in Trustville, Alabama. A little shot of the gorgeous Cahaba River there. We are going to be starting on hole one, just like the last round. Um, got a great card for you today. Uh, this is Ben Swam, and we got Larry Burge with us. How's everybody doing? All right, Larry, tell us about the card. Um, well, it's going to be a little bit different than our front round. We got some first round. We have some newcomers here. So I believe we're going to have Zach Melton, who we did see in the first round along with Cameron Colglazer and Michael Gibney, both from Mobile, and then the youngster Harper Thompson from Nashville, Tennessee. They're all pretty tight there. Uh, Melton and Colglazer tied at six down, Michael Gibney right behind them at five, and Harper two strokes back at four down. I think Harper is 16 or 17 years old, so it's pretty fun to see how he uh, hangs with these guys. Definitely. All right, hole one, we got par three, 370 feet. A little bit of OB on the right and left. Uh, pretty straightforward hole though. Yeah, I think these guys are playing a new pin position up here on the left this year. Kind of pulled the basket away from that uh, walking path to kind of keep the pedestrians out of play a little bit. Should play a little easier than it has in the past. I look to see some big hyzers here out of these guys. At least the right-handers. Here we got Cameron Colglazer up first. And the big hyzer as we expected. And he looks like he checked right into that tree there. He's probably going to be just outside the circle. I like how we you, have, you, you can tell our signs took a beating in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my daughter Cadence put those up on the day before and they kind of started to lean a little bit. All right, there's Zach Milton. Kind of has more of a direct line there for the lefty. And that's a great shot by Zach. All right, here's Gibney also lining up a big hyzer. We got two Prodigy sponsored players. I, well, three, I think, is Prodigy sponsored players on this card. Yeah, there we go. A great shot. That's really close. And last but not least, here we got Harper Thompson. I met this kid when he was about 10 years old. It is great to see how far he has come. It looks like he hung that out a little bit wide. Boy, he sure did. Oh, and he caught that guardian tree back oh, there on wow. the right. He's going to be a bit out of position, but he shouldn't have any trouble getting up and down. Here's Harper for birdie, probably from about 50 feet or so. Well, that's a great shot. Cam from behind the tree has to take a knee to get an angle here. Yeah, it looks like he didn't have much there. Zach looks like he's got a pretty good opportunity for a two here. Oh. Just a bit short. So it looks like Michael Gibney's going to take a the only bogey, or excuse me, only birdie there, and on the first hole. And so now we got three-way tie at the top. Everybody Not a bad else. start, though. Not a bad start. Yeah. No, a few threes there. All right, hole two, par three. 250 feet. Uh, this is uh, got a big ravine in front of the basket. This is a kind of a uh, treacherous hole. It's a lot easier in this shorter pin than it was in previous years when we had it in a long pin. So I love this hole, and I really like the the juxtaposition from the first hole where you're wide open to trying to throw down this really tight line on the second hole. And we're going to see how these guys do making that transition. 
Looks like Michael Gibney did pretty well there. He's going to be about 25 feet past the basket. First time it's ever happened. Which is not a bad place to be, but it is kind of a death bud. <laughs> For sure. Oh, it says the disc hit Conrad's injured knee. <laughs> Must have got the cameraman. Cold Glazer hangs it out a little bit left there. Here we go. On the front nine, this was the highest scoring hole for MPO, which doesn't really surprise me. It's definitely the most dangerous hole in the front. And there's Zach. Oh, he hung that out a little bit wide as well. Kind of fought through a little bit. Oh, so he's and it gonna trickled be, down. Yeah, he's going to be putting from the, from the ravine there. It's kind of a deep hole. The basket is way over their heads since they're down in there. All right, here's Harper. Oh, Ooh, early. That is, Bit of an early release there. That is not the line. <laughs> Looks like he's got a smile on his face, though. He's probably just got the pitch out from in there. It is yeah, jail. Definitely a tough spot to be That in. was definitely a smart decision to not try to do too much there. Just pitch it out. Try to get up and down from there. Oh, goodness. It's like another early release. He's still got some work left to do. Looks like Cam's shot hit that tree and stayed up, so he's just going to kind of pitch across. Oh, Look at wow. that. What a putt. <laughs> that was a great two. You know, we get to see it again. Hit the run back. This I feel like he like... let it. He knew quickly. You see the yeah. arm go up. There are a couple of people yeah. around him, too. Yeah. That was a great run there. Great Good gallery play. on this hole uh, for that Saturday round. Yeah, I think we had a lot better weather on Saturday Definitely. than we did on Friday. There's an, oh, oh no. The brakes continue for Harper. No kidding, that looked like he had that, that touch shot there nicely and just kind of caught that rock and kicked all the way back down. There's Zach for two, a little hot. He's gonna be kind of Hemmed in back there with those bushes. Hopefully he can put that in for the three. I think this is Harper for a double bogey on this hole. Hmm. Yes, sir. There we go. Yeah, nice putt. Maybe he can right the ship there after after a pretty rough start. And we finally got into Michael's drive. <laughs> That's a nice two. That's a good two. Less dramatic than Cam's, but... <laughs> oh, oh, sack. At least it stayed up. Yeah, it didn't go down the hill. Tell you what, his putting is looking shaky here in the first couple of holes. He's going to be disappointed with that. Zach's normally an extremely good putter. All right, hole three, par three, 192 foot hole. Uh, this is just a straight shot. I think we had at least one ace on this hole during the tournament. Uh, shouldn't be too much trouble for these guys. Yeah, I expect not. This was probably the easiest hole on the front nine. Um, yeah, there you go. There it is. <laughs> that does not surprise me. It's, there's just that little gap, you know, that's about 10 feet wide there, maybe a little less, um, about halfway down. And if you hit that, you know, it's really about speed control. These guys are all trying to look to not throw it too far. Yeah, getting through that gate is important. You, what you don't want to do Ooh, is be yeah. off, on, off of the fairway before hitting that gap down there because it is rough Thank coming out. Right, here we go. Got oh. a flight track. This one was really close. Look at that. Hit the pole just under the cage. Wow. Great throw. Zach with a little touch forehand here. Kind of pushes it to the right a bit. Uh, he, he got past that edge, though. That's a... Uh, He'll have a long putt. Trouble in the woods there. Harper. Oh, that's Another little good. ace run. Yeah, that'll be good. We got three guys that are pretty close there, and Zach's not too far away there no. on the edge. Maybe he can get that putter going. Oh, great run! Oh wow! That's Just a tough little break. bit, a little bit weak side there. 
know he was looking to get that one in there after that rough hole on two. And then Kibney's quietly he off to a hot start there. Stringing them together already. Yeah, absolutely. Starts off with a turkey. And Cam's got two in a row as well. On the hole four, it's a par three, 331 feet. Uh, this is an interesting throw. You kind of, it's, uh, it's got a little S to it. So uh, it's a fun hole though. Uh, lots yeah, of trees the, on one side, open on the other. The drone kind of flew down the forehand line. I think you're going to see more people play this as a flex shot though. Yeah. Um, kind of turn something over right really close to this tree line on the right and then let it flex back in towards the basket. Yeah. Um, at least that's what I've seen more often. Zach might take that big hyzer line oh you know, like that. Yeah. A little bit too Might've tight cut though. Cut that one a little close there. That's probably going to end the birdie streak. Cam's going to try the same thing, but yeah, that's the, that's the line right there. Be a little touch inside. No, that's perfect. Good shot. That's what you're trying to do. Absolutely. So, all right, Zach likes that line. He's going to go forehand. I don't blame him. That left side's a hot mess. It really is. There's not a real um, obvious way to get to the basket there. It's kind of a sucker's bet. Yeah, poke and hope. Oh, there that was a go, great Zach. shot. Harper kind of sneaking through on the inside there. He's getting up a little high of the basket, but we'll have a long look from up there. Maybe not a great line, but shouldn't have any trouble getting up and down. Skibney just kind of oh. laying up. Oh, no. Here he is for par. So it looks like Gibney's going to take a bogey after starting off hot. Harper for birdie. Look, Look at, at that. Oh. oh, no. I thought it was in. The worst. That was a great line. Wow. Look at him. I hear oh. you, Harper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's thinking, what do I got to do to get a birdie here? Good birdie from Zach. Michael's going to tap out for his bogey there. And Cam. Closest to the pin, he's got a drop in for his two. And that makes three in a row for him. All right, hole five coming up. It's a par three, 307 feet. Uh, this is a different pin position than we've uh, played in uh, recent years too. We don't uh, typically haven't played this one, so nice to see a new look this year around the corner there. This is a kind of a tricky little uh, pin position. Uh, you know, it's, it's tough to swing something way over there. It's downhill, it's way around the corner. Those bushes on the right are really thick. You don't want to be in there. So I think you're going to see some skip shots played here. Um, like Cam just tried there. So he pushed it a little bit too straight and caught a nasty roll. Oh, wow. What? Yeah, that's way down there, away from the basket, but it's going to be a pretty much an open yeah, shot. There, yeah, there's a good there. line. There's a good line up from there. So, yeah, the right side is just all kinds of trouble. You do not want to be in in that. Uh, like Zach that. saws it off and goes right where you oh, don't want to go. But hey, man, what up. a kick! That was a really fortunate bounce out right there. That looks like the line. That'll flare. That's that going to be skip. nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great shot. That was a beautiful shot. That was a great shot. I think Gibney's going to probably try the same thing. He also pushed it a little too far straight and caught a tree. He's just going to pitch up for his three. Let's see Zach kind of give it a long run here. Yep. Cam with a similar. 
Yeah, they're all just pitching all up right, there so. looking for three at this point. But, yeah. <laughs> Michael looked like he didn't trust the basket there for a second. <laughs> All right, see if we can see if Harper can get moving in the right direction here. He's had good drives, and there, yeah, we, there go. we go. He needed a birdie to start going, get under par, back under par where he was. Cam for three, and then I think Zach will tap out his three here. All right, up next, hole six. This is a par three, 250 foot island hole. Uh, the players have to be inside the rock circle, touching the grass inside the rock circle. That's exactly how I said it every player meeting for the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> As did I the day before. <laughs> uh, this is a fun hole. Uh, drop zone if they miss the island. I don't expect many of these guys are going to miss this though. Yeah, I think we're going to see some hyzers, um, probably some mid-range hyzers here for the, at the dis distance. Harper, oh, oh yeah. all right. Using the wall and getting a little backspin. I mean, he's going like to be he, happy with that. Like he had a remote control right there. <laughs> I think he actually thought that went out. <laughs> I think Cam's going to try the same thing, but maybe a little wider. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he was looking for right there. No drama at all in that shot. None at all. It's really only 250 feet, so it's not a lot of distance required here. You're just trying to land it inside that circle. That's it. There's Zach. He pushes a little bit long, but he's inside as well. Give me a little bit inside, but that's a really overstable disc. All right, he everybody right in. Over. Everybody made it in. So Zach's going to take his relief from the wall so he can putt here. I think he threw a faster disc there, everybody. Looked like a felon. Oh, wow. Uh, he still just hadn't quite got that putter going today. It's the third one that he's uh, he's been right there. Fourth one, actually. I think these other three are not going to have uh, much left at all. Cam and Harper are both only about 10 feet away. So Cold Glazer continues to be uh, continues to be pretty hot this round. Yeah. Four down, four down for the round, putting him at a total of ten. Zach still right where he started at six. All right, hole seven, par three, uh, 288 feet. This is a uh, all downhill. There's a couple of different lanes you can take. Um, not a difficult hole, but uh, a little OB on the right and long. Yeah, this is a really pretty little hole. Yeah, it's very picturesque. Pretty. Little downhill. You can like like you said. There's three different lines that you can take. It kind of doesn't really matter what shot you like. You can probably make it work here. See a forehand on this left hand gap. Harper. That's gonna be good. Swinging it in Just a there. touch long. This is one of my favorite holes on the course. I just enjoy this kind of golf. Just enough trees to fo force you to throw a line, but enough that it's forgiving if you're a little bit off. And there's Cam taking the hyzer out on the outside. He'll, oh, goodness. Oh. That would have skipped right to the basket if he'd have gotten over that one little stump there. It's a really nice line, just about a few inches too low. Now Michael's going to go the straight route. So that's three players, three routes. Lots of options. See what Zach has in mind. I don't think he's going to take that uh, forehand route similar to what Cam tried, but, but wider. <laughs> so he goes all the way around. Really overstable disc. He was uh, he was pretty sure that dirt mound or that stump wasn't getting him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that's interesting. Like we said, uh, there was 
We had four players take four different ways to the basket on that hole. Yeah. There's Michael from oh. outside. Almost cashes that in just a touch high. There's Cam from about 45. Also off, off the, top the top of the basket. All right, Zach, let's get that putter going. There it is. That's his first birdie of the round. I know he, he really needed that. Here's Harper to continue his little streak. Right, that's three in a row for him after after a rough hole on two. He's uh he's fighting back. We should see Cam and Michael tap these threes in. Yeah, the weather really cleared up for these guys at the end. It had rained earlier uh, and uh, ran off all the pedestrian traffic. <laughs> this is a, a very uh, heavily used park in Trustful, so uh, that rain kind of uh, cooled everything off a little bit and, and got rid of a lot of that foot traffic. Hole 8, uh, par 3, 275 feet. It's uh, uphill over a... Uh, creek bed it's that's all casual but um it's a nice hole it's another pretty hole like you were talking about hole seven this next few holes all all very uh, picturesque yeah this this kind of park golf is my favorite kind of golf to play personally and it, it films well it's you know, yeah as well there's harper with a really nice flip up shot and oh got caught catches by the tree. a tree yeah. probably going to be about 50 or 60 feet away Zach just getting around that tree. That's going to be oh, nice and close. Yeah, that's yeah, great, great shot, shot there. Cam's going to take that straight route. Miss that tree to the left. He'll also be close. Yeah, but most of these hole ha holes have, have several different lanes yeah, to the basket. Yeah, a couple basket different routes this part for of sure. The park. And, uh, I think I've tried every yeah, one yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So Harper's actually in that casual water, so he's going to take some relief here. Um, it's hard to tell the angle that he's got. He's not out of bounds, but he does get to take casual relief, you know, behind his lie. Um, and he can go back as far as he wants um, to get his position in there. So it looks like he's about 60 feet out, maybe. Oh, oh wow. great putt! That. There's yeah, a see it again. run back worthy. Yeah, look at the spin he gets on that thing. He fully commits to those putts and really zips them yeah, up there. Yeah, that looks great. That's beautiful putt. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that <laughs> thing out of that. That's four. That's four in a row for him after a yeah. after a uh, a rough start. All three of these other guys are pretty close here. Cam for two. Michael for two. And Zach gets another birdie. First star frame of the day. Yes, sir. Move it in the right direction. So that puts Cam at five down on the round. Starting to open up a little bit of a lead there. Hole nine. At least over his car. Yeah. Hole nine, par three, 353 feet. Uh, this is another new pin position this year. Uh, pushed back a little longer than previous years. Uh, this is another uh, good looking hole. Uh, I think they'll have fun playing this one, this longer pin. Yeah, I think that we're gonna see everyone take the same route on this hole. Now, normally in the shorter positions, you'll see people go straight ahead through that, that field goal post there, but I think everybody's gonna take the route that Harper's taken. Uh, yeah, these guys definitely try to get it all the way the around there. It, so. Yeah, and it, it's just it is the widest gap if you're trying to get all the way back to this point to this position. Um, it's actually kind of iffy to get to that short position from here because there's some trees that block it. But I'm trying to go all the way down. Oh, Zach catches a, one of the guardians and rolls. Stays in bounds though. I really want to keep this on a 
pure hyzer the whole way like that. Yeah, that looks good. Yep. A little bit oh, too long. No. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a terrible roll away. That was a better shot than his result. Yeah. That's that angle of that hill though. <clears throat> They're kind of yeah, spiking it really right is. into it. So I think they really want to go with a lower line and skip up that hill rather than trying to spike into it. More like that. That's probably going to be a lot closer. He doesn't seem to like it, but I think it's going to end up nice. Yeah. And see, even he got a little bit too more of a forward roll that he yeah. wanted, but it, it looks like he's going to have those guy wires in his way when he has to putt. Zach tossing one up there. That's, that looks like he went a little long. <laughs> He was hoping that was going to go in. Cam from outside, a little bit low. Here's Michael. Yeah, nice putt through the guy wires. Oh, He's going to walk. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just wanted us to see where he put it. That here's where Harper's drive landed. Oh, there's another nice two from him. Harper keeping it going. That's right, it's five in a row. Zach for par. Put it in there. Why not? I mean, you have to go through it, so why not? Cam will tap his out. All right. That'll do it for the front nine. All right, looks like we have Cameron Cole Glazer maintaining his lead at 11 down. Zach Melton falling off a little bit at eight. Gibney's right behind at 10. And Harper Thompson, after a slow start, is uh, five in a row and seven down. So we'll uh, just be back for the second uh, second half here with the uh, back nine and see how these guys can finish it out. All right, see you in a few.